Hello YouTube. This engine bay might be one of the most common engines I can think of outside of maybe a four liter straight six Jeep. But if you look down there, you can see I put in a new water pump. That's not what this video is about. So there are plenty of good videos already out there showing how to access the front of this timing cover without taking the engine out, without dropping the oil pan. I could not find any video that actually showed what I'm doing here. Hopefully this video saves somebody a lot of time and frustration. This really isn't a bad job if you do this method because I'd say right now I could do it eh, three hours, four hours if I'm really hustling. But otherwise, count on five or six. I went ahead and changed the water pump and oil pump since I had to take them off anyway. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to spend the $3 for the O-ring, and you think that's all it is that's causing your low oil pressure, go for it. So what I've done here is gone ahead and put some paper dowels down so debris is less likely to get into the oil pan. And this tab right here that my thumbnail or fingernail is on, if you can see that. So that tab right there, we're going to go ahead and cut down. And so what I've done using my knockoff Dremel and a grinding attachment. So I've ground a little bit of that tab off. So now I can rotate it and shake the camera thing on. Like that. And we'll rotate it around. With the relief cut, we can now freely move this. We can go ahead and put the O-ring on, and we can go ahead and put the pump on. You will have to work on this some, um, moving this, flexing this a little bit, while getting it over the crank for the oil pump to set, which will should look like this. And here's the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead, put the cover back on. And see how nice everything looks here, but. Hopefully this saves somebody a bunch of time. And here's the timing cover back on. I went ahead and put on the harmonic balancer as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change all the water pump and stuff while it's out. Because it's probably the factory water pump as well. I realize that this video doesn't have a lot of me actually doing much work. It just sort of jumps back and forth. But there's a lot of good videos out there if you're not sure what to do here. Uh, putting this thing back together. Taking it apart with and without the oil pan dropped. When you put it on, make sure... When you put this timing cover back on, make sure you put some gasket, liquid gasket down at the bottom. And that little corner back there that I can just barely get on camera. I can't imagine it being a problem. I am going to change the oil a couple times very frequently after I do this because there should be a lot of gunk moving around in there now where the system was open in addition to the metal shavings from uh, the grinding there. Even if I did put some paper dowels down to try to stop it and then also... With it having oil pressure, I figure some stuff's going to start moving around in there. So, let's find out. And there we go. Plenty of oil pressure. Yes, I've still got to fix the airbag, and I think this is a EVAP code, but... Hope this video helps somebody. Thanks for watching.